Light therapy is very effective in the equine market when you're treating horses. And you'll see that uh, one of our customers uh, is treating Rain, her horse that has uh, a bacterial infection in the skin. Now, we know that light therapy is antiviral, but it's also antibacterial because it stimulates the local immune system. So it indirectly is antibacterial. And this shows also how you can treat a horse that has a longer coat by shaving the hair to make the light therapy even more effective. So this is Journey. This is my 28 year old Kentucky Mountain Saddle Horse. And he's kept out 24 uh, seven through the winter up here in Canada. And he gets the most incredible coat. Uh, this isn't even full coat yet. And this starts of course, late summer for him to get this. Anyway, he has a skin problem over the last couple of years. Part of it is because of his age. And I believe kind of a protective uh, system in, in giving his coat a little bit more oil. Only what happens is throughout the winter and into the spring, the oil kind of traps down into the skin level, starts to irritate it, and he actually starts to get rain rot. He doesn't get rain rot in the normal places that horses get rain rot. He actually gets it down here in his tummy. So this year uh, with the LZR Ultra Bright, um, I've decided to kind of get this before it gets too bad. So what we've done is we have shaved. I know you can't see it, but that's okay. We've just shaved down a little of the areas where this started. And the reason we're, we're doing that um, is so that we can get a full penetration of the LZR uh, onto his skin. Now I can do that by just taking the hair and uh, pulling it aside, but we decided to do this before his coat grew. We're just going to continue it for a little bit into the winter time until uh, which case uh, his coat will grow back full. So if you can see his hindquarters, this actually started on his hindquarters and you can see a little spot here. So we turn the camera around and we can see some of these little spots we got at the very beginning, shaved them even before his coat came in and put the LZR Ultra Bright on and uh, that bacteria, it is a bacteria, um, disappears. So I'm gonna show you now what I do with the LZR. So we know that most bacteria infections do very, very well with um, a violet spectrum. But I think in this case, we kind of tested this out and there's lots of research out now um, about using uh, infrared and red spectrum on um, bacterial, some bacterias, and it's just kind of blasts them away again. So I'm moving it around just a little bit on this area that I've shaved and uh, he really does enjoy it. He's, he doesn't really think too much about it. And I will leave it on and kind of, I will paint it a little bit through the area, meaning that I will move it to another spot every 10 seconds. And I'm leaving this on for the full uh, minute on him. Again, it's been amazing as anything that starts, if I can get this light going uh, as quickly as possible on him, um, I only need to do this now once a week. So there you go. So again, if there was a spot up here, for instance, where the hair is longer, I would just try to brush that hair aside as much as I can. And he's, you can see how dense a coat he has. And um, try my best to get as much of that red light source against the skin. So again, the combination of a heavy oil in his coat, the length of his coat, and the fact that any of these areas don't really see the full spectrum of sun, uh, the LZR Ultra Bright has sure done wonders in keeping this rain rot or this bacterial infection at bay.